Welcome to Rebel Speak and Be Encouraged. And today I'm just thinking about encouraging us, strengthening one another. That was the word, strengthening. And I, I'm thinking of one of Psalm 61. David prays for himself as the king. And he, he prays for a strengthening of the love and faith that he be strong in the Lord. There's something about strengthening, speaking, speaking prayers over ourselves, speaking strength and love. And then here I'm looking at the letter to the Colossians where Paul writes, he's not met the church at this point in time and he has heard of their love and faithfulness and, and they're known for their love and faithfulness, but there's, it's also a time of many, it's a very vibrant time spiritually and there's all this advice of how to do it more right and do it this way. And, and there's, there's these powers and principalities and there's, oh, things to, you know, ways of worshiping. I really felt that this has worked. And Paul's advocating for the supremacy of Jesus Christ. Like in Christ, we've inherited everything, right? We have everything. <laughs> we have everything. And it's very important that they, and it's like they've been fighting the good fight. They've been holding on to love and faith. And he says this in in chapter one, in the opening, this beautiful prayer, that in light of their love and faithfulness, he says, for this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. That attitude in Paul of just continuous prayer, encouraging one another on, cheering one another on, you know, just go, go, go. You're doing great. We're on this, we're, we're all on the same team. You're doing great. Okay. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will. So we're continually asking God, okay, God, please fill them with the knowledge of your will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Wow, through this, how do we be filled with knowledge of the will? Well, through the Spirit. As the Spirit gives us wisdom and understanding, we're filled. Why? So that we may live a life worthy, commiserate with all that the all that was done on the cross. May there be a way that we're not underestimating who we are in Christ and all of who Christ is in us. May we live our life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. May we live in this delight, this delight and this joy. May we not be swimming in shallow waters when he purchased deep, deep waters for us. May we not be swimming more in our own ideas than that understanding and knowledge that comes from the Holy Spirit, that we're about the greater purposes and, and we're communing, right? In that we're communing deeply and richly with God. We're not caught up in these practices that someone told us, no, this is the right way to do it. And it, it's not about Christ, right? It, it, it's about ritual. And, 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 and there are ways, I'm not, I'm not anti-ritual, but it's like, what is it about? How are you perceiving? How are you knowing? Wow. So that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. What, what, what brings joy to the Lord? What pleases him? That we're bearing fruit as we do good works. That there's something of the spirit alive and at work in the midst of our lives that is bearing the fruit. <laughs> that there's something about the Holy Spirit breaking in through our actions. Wow. Bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. Wow. As I am in the midst of good works, doing good, loving, in the midst of that, I'm growing in my knowledge of God. Wow. And being strengthened. This is just so Paul. On and on it goes. For him, it's so knitted together. It's all joined together. It's all a part. It, 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 it goes on and on because it's all so present to him. As I'm growing in my knowledge, I'm, I'm bearing fruit in my good works. And in that, I'm growing in my knowledge of God. And in that, I'm being strengthened with all power. All power according what? To his glorious might. I, I, I'm, being, I'm being strengthened. This is the word I want to say to you. Strengthened with all power. All power. Not some power. All power according to God's glorious might so that you may have great endurance and patience. See, the endurance and patience isn't there for us to receive. It's actually in the activity, in the encounter of God, I receive endurance and patience. In my encounter of God, I'm going to go way back to where it was. I ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Okay, I'm asking you to have this knowledge 
And in that, there's understanding. And in that, that's wisdom. What? So that you may live your life worthy in accordance with all that Christ has purchased for you, bearing fruit in all the good works. There, I'm not just doing good works for good works sake. As I'm out there encountering the world and giving from my life to the world, fruit is being born, birthed and growing. And as I'm doing that, I'm growing in my knowledge of God. And as I'm growing in my knowledge of God, I'm strengthened with all power according to God's glorious might, God's, God's glorious might that never runs out so that I will then have endurance and patience <laughs> and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share. The Father has prepared us and qualified you. And I think you might be saying this a little bit uniquely to the Greeks because it's a surprise. It's a surprise to him. Not ultimately. He's given his life to it. But it wasn't that long ago that it was a surprise that the Father's qualified you, Greeks. I think that's a little bit in there. To the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Wow. Give joyful thanks. Give joyful thanks that you are a part of this amazing relationship, this dynamic kingdom birthing endurance. <laughs> like, are you in need of endurance? encounter encounter christ pray 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 that christ in you is birthing that endurance i'm not looking for endurance i'm finding endurance as i'm caught up in the fullness of relationship with the father as it as it works through the son as it works through the son for god has rescued us from the dominion of darkness you and I are not battling the dominion of darkness. I, I can feel it. It's palpable and it's real. And it really is quite aggressive. But I tell you what, it's been put in its place. It's been put in its place. And I'm mindful of that because the enemy exaggerates his own strength. He likes to just mess. And I think the enemy really thinks that he has power. And he, he has power where power is granted. But... Um, we have been rescued from the dominion of darkness and brought into the kingdom of the Son. The Father loves. We are inheritors. We are part of that dynamic relationship of the Father and His love for the Son. We're caught up in that. We're, we're knit into it. This is this mystery. We're a part of it fully, in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sin. We're not beggars looking for redemption. We're not beggars looking for forgiveness of sin. We're delighting in it. We're delighting in it. We're part of this massive relationship. Massive relationship of, of father and son. And I just speak strength to you. Strength, strength to any place feeling feeble. I speak strength. I ask that as you're journeying, as you're engaging, that you're not just feeling drained. That somehow in that engagement, you're feeling the electricity of the dynamic between father and son of which you are a part, of which you're an inheritor. Not just an inheritor, but in that inheritance, you're a participant of that vibrant love, of that peaceful love, of that comforting love. That, that as we encounter the love of the father for the son, as we continually, Paul says, I continually ask God to fill you. May you be filled with knowledge of the Father's will so you're not having to run around guessing. Oh, knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding the Spirit gives. The Spirit is in you. It's giving you this knowledge. It's giving you the wisdom and the understanding that you can be filled with the knowledge of the Father's will. So that Why? So that you may live your life in accordance with all that Christ has brought worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. Part of that delight, being of that delight, <sighs> please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. It's so deep. It's just so deep. Bearing fruit. I, I pray that in that knowledge of God, you're, you're right there. And it's not a teeter, um, type rope walk. You're secure. You're fastened secure into the Father's love. And that love's working through you. And that Father's love's birthing fruit in all that you do. A 
And as that fruit is through your life, as God's working through your life, what I like about this right now is that then in that place, we grow in our knowledge of God. That I, I can step out and know God's going to meet me in my lack. I'm not waiting to be having, perf I'm not, this isn't the Olympics. I'm not practicing, practicing, practicing. Now my time to shine. No, I, I walk into the situation and I walk into the moment and God's there and God meets me and I grow in my knowledge of God in that point of risk, in that point of good work that's seeking to bear fruit and knowing that Christ in me is going, trusting, right? I'm, I'm, I'm risking, I'm, I'm taking my talents and I'm, I'm not bearing them. I'm stepping into them and there God's going to meet me and I'm going to grow in my knowledge of God at that place. And as I grow in my knowledge of God, I'm strengthened. Whew, I'm strengthened with the gifts of endurance and patience. It's very vibrant. And I want to speak trust that you can step out into what you can hear the Spirit encouraging you to do. And God will meet you at that moment and he'll meet you in that place and you'll grow in knowledge and you'll grow in strength, you'll grow in endurance, and you'll grow in patience. Be blessed, be encouraged.